Okay, 2305 Bluegill. So nice big driveway and there is a cul-de-sac at the end of the street, so it's super quiet. All right, three car garage. She did say this is the original roof, but never had any issues there. Pretty nice landscaping. Pretty entrance. Tile in the entryway and then carpet. So, right off to the right, they have an office. Nice plantation shutters. And over here, this will kind of be your formal dining area. Let's take wood floors here. Sorry, they have a bunch of boxes there in the process of moving. Okay, now we're in the living room. Nice high ceilings. Crown molding. I'm just kind of go over to the left here. This is the master. Nice size room. And this has Go right to the ensuite, tile floors here, and his and her closets. Here's the other closet. I love this bathroom layout. Little linen closet there, his and her vanities, a garden tub. It's really pretty. Private water closet, again, plantation shutters. This is a big walk-in shower. It's a cool layout. Okay, back out into the living room. Nice big windows. Walking into the kitchen, tile floors, here's a little breakfast nook, put your kitchen table here, and then they're utilizing this as kind of like a game room, wood floors, nice size room, and then this opens up to the kitchen, nice space for bar stools, also a little built-in desk area, tile backsplash, Nice high cabinets, big fridge. Here is your little pantry area. It's a nice kitchen, very open. It's a big sink. Kind of just looks out into the living space. And then it's back in that dining area. So right off the kitchen, there's a separate door to the laundry. Nice upper cabinets, little folding area, and this store leads out into the three-car garage. Nice epoxy floors. They have a lot of stuff in here, so bear with me. Kind of come over here. Really hard to see, but definitely an oversized garage. Um, it does have this little ledge here where they have cabinets and lots of extra storage space. Let's go back through the kitchen. So right off the kitchen to the right, heading into the bedroom. So we'll start over this way. This is bedroom number two. This is all carpet through here. Nice size bedroom. Again, they have a lot of stuff they're packing up. There is the standard size closet. And this is bedroom number two. This is the smallest of the rooms. Standard size closet. This is definitely a large piece of furniture taking up a lot of space, but would also make for a great office. 
And here is the full bath. It's a nice size bathroom, very spacious. Big walk-in shower. Tile floors, little linen closet. It's cute. And the last bedroom, it's a nice size room. Window looking out back. Standard size closet. She said she does have the closet doors for that as well. Okay, so let's come back out into the living area. I'll take you out onto the screened in patio. So big slider leading out here. This is all screened in, just fans. And it kind of extends around here, which is great. Lots of storage, plenty of room for your grill. Trying to get out of the picture. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so this opens up to a paver patio. The yard is fully fenced in, it's their fence. Uh, not, lots of nice landscaping and tree coverage back here. Plenty of room for a pool. Really a great outdoor space, nice and shaded, um, but also still getting some good sunlight. So yeah, let me know what you guys think.